I played at a time before it became uh, an NHL tradition of where a Stanley Cup winning player would have a chance to have the cup for one day during the following summer. And so as I would read stories, and they were the great stories of where the cup would travel everywhere in the country and everywhere in the world, uh, of what would I have done if I had my day with the cup, or what would I do if I ever had a chance? And I had absolutely plotted in my mind what I was going to do. I knew that on the morning of that day, it was going to be one last ball hockey game in our backyard. The asphalt was still there. The house, um, uh, our parents started a charity. The charity works out of the house. So we could have that game. There hadn't been a ball hockey game played there for 40 years or more, but we'd have one final game with all of the original regulars and their kids and their grandkids. And then the afternoon would be at the local rink, uh, Central Arena, where I played for Humber Valley. And then I didn't, never did figure out the nighttime. But this wasn't going to happen because how would it happen? Well then, my brother, who runs this charity now, was saying that they were having, they were having trouble in the backyard, that uh, the, the drainage, uh, and they were having problems in the house, so they were going to have to tear up the backyard. And I thought, oh, geez, Dave, you have no idea, but you're tearing up my dream. I mean, this is something that I uh, wanted to do, and here's what it is. And he said, oh, God, well, why don't you see what you can do? So I contacted the Hockey Hall of Fame, they were not opposed to it for a while, and then I sort of said, you know, actually there's a certain urgency now because the backyard's going to get torn up. And they said, all right. So I got my day with the cup on October the 15th, 14th and 15th of this year. We figured out what the night would be because it was like, okay, you know, there are, as, as, as much as this cup travels the country, there are some places that are too small that will never produce somebody, whoever would play in the NHL, let alone play on a Stanley Cup winning team. What place do I have some connection with that would be a place like that, that could be this symbolic small time that would never get the cup, but would get the cup where my father grew up? Domain, Manitoba, 70 people, south of Winnipeg. So the Hockey Hall of Fame said, fine, do that on the night before, on the Friday night, the Saturday morning at in this backyard rink, Saturday afternoon at the local arena. And the, and the incredible irony of the timing of all of this, and it was their timing, it wasn't our, is that as I said to them, what would the date be? And they said, well, I guess this Friday would be October the 14th. Friday, October the 14th, that is my dad's birthday. <laughs> and if he was alive, on that day, he would be 100 years old. So we went back to Domain, to this tiny little town of 70 people that has this, you know, uh, out, uh, this, this natural ice rink with a, with a semi-roof on it. And they had 700 people there. So that was the night, and then the following morning was the ball hockey game. With, and we figured, okay, I say figured, uh, that if we're gonna have a game like this, What's part of the fantasy? Got to have an anthem in here if you're going to have a game. So I asked Michael Burgess. And Michael Burgess was there and he sang the anthem. Before we started the game, we had this game and with the cup and everything. And then the final part of the story, I thought that was the end of the story, and then Christmas comes. And so, you know, I, you know, I give my brother a sweater or a book or something. He gives me a sweater or a book and that's the end of it. I, you know, he hands me this package that's about the same size as a book. Pick it up, but it's heavy. You can't figure out what it is. Open it up, and it's about a, you know uh, about 10 inches by 14 inches. It's pavement from the backyard, <laughs> and it just said, you know, Dryden's backyard, you know, August 1954 to October 2011. So I got that which was just amazing, and then there's this other little package, and it's much smaller, and I can't figure out what the heck it could be. Open it up, and inside a, a, a clear plastic container is a dirty old tennis ball 
and there's a caption on it that just reads, the last ball. <laughs> See this big save he's making? His yeah, like, long leg? His leg is yeah. Oh, Six foot four. There's not too many big goalies like that anymore. 